Hello viewers and welcome to my YouTube channel Wristwatch and Wallet. For those who are new to this channel, for their information, on this channel we do unboxing and review of budget watches. Without further ado, let's focus on today's watch. First, it is wrist check time and today I am wearing my custom build. Today we are going to unbox and review a dual time budget watch that I bought recently from AliExpress. And as usual, I am very excited to share my thoughts about this watch. The watch comes in this packaging. Now let's open the package. And in the package we can see the watch with a small instruction manual, I believe, and a tag. The instruction manual is in two languages. At one side, we can see it in English, and the other side, it's in Chinese, I believe. So here is the watch and we have a tag as well. Let's quickly remove this tag. So first we will talk about the build quality. Well, the construction of this watch seems to be durable. The watch is designed to withstand daily wear and tear. The watch case is made of plastic material and the fixed bezel is in an octagonal shape with decorative screws. The screw doesn't do any uh, function or they don't seem to be functional. Uh, now coming to the dial, the dial is in black color and has 12 golden plated indices. The index at 12 o'clock seems to be a bit thicker than the other. Then we have loom applied hands. Surprisingly, it has only two working hands. And the third one, which is at nine o'clock positions, is for decorative purpose only. Although it is supposed to show the day of the week. Then at the bottom of the dial, we can see a rhombus shaped window here. You can see the digital clock. There's a point to be noticed that the both analog and digital clock are independent of each other. They can show different time zones. And uh, apart from these two time zones, this watch can save one more time zone. So basically, in this watch, you can see total three different time zones. Now let's discuss the four buttons in brief details. The top left one can be used to set the analog clock. With each press, it moves the minute hand one minute forward. For example, I'll try to show it to you. As you can see, with each press, the minute hand is moving forward. However, if you want to move it faster, then you need to press it continuously for three seconds. And then it will move faster. And in order to stop it, just press it again. That's the function of this top left button. Now come to the bottom. This button is very helpful and it can be used to change the views between uh, time or you can say between time or calendar or between stopwatch then the this right bottom button help to set the timer and chronograph and the last one remaining in the right top corner is for starting the backlight well the backlight will remain for only three seconds now coming to the back case it does have a stainless steel back case with four screws and there is some information mentioned on it for example the brand name the model number and the information about water, water resistance and it says that this case is made of stainless steel and it has a japan movement then coming to the watch band well the watch band is made of pure plastic and it is very very flexible then we have a stainless steel buckle actually and uh, it has brand name mentioned on it then we have two keepers both are movable there's one more thing to be noticed that these straps are integrated let's talk about the measurement as per the seller's website the case diameter is around 50 mm 
and I love to look where it is around 25 mm although it's an integrated design and then the lug to lug length is around 54 mm from here to here and the case thickness is around 16.6 mm and then the watch provides a 50 meter water resistance which is enough for daily use and the crystal seems to be acrylic and here how it looks on a wrist of 6.5 inches uh, the thing I like about strap is that you don't need to worry about sizing it. You can just put it and start using it. That's all for now and thank you for joining me on this quick unboxing. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Till then, happy watch collecting.